everybody and welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a look at the small rig rm75 video light i'm really random reviews i hope you're all doing fine and well and having a fantastic day this video light comes from amazon and costs 68 pound in the uk at the time of recording it's meant to pack a punch for a small light so let's get into the box and see how good it actually is One thing I will say from the off, it feels like a premium product. So right away we're met with their flyer that says Small Rig Big Dream. And it all looks well packaged. The light itself has a nice front plastic diffused cover. And the frame is made from aluminium. And it's all to a high standard. I must say it feels very good quality and all machined very precisely. You've got a mounting thread at the bottom there. And all of these sides are also magnetic. So you do get extra mounting options with that. And then you've got the basic controls at the top where you've got your USB type C port. The simple on and off switch. And then you've got a scroll wheel which doubles up as a function and a select button. The back is a black glass carbon effect and it looks really nice in my opinion. And it has the small LCD screen in the centre. I'm very impressed with this. We also get the USB type C charger cable. This is a standard A to C cable, although it is braided, which is a nice thing to see. I do prefer the braided cables, and it's around a meter long, so it's plenty long enough to be charging your key light. Very good. And finally, we have the silicone diffuser. This is actually quite good, this. It's got the cutout on the bottom for the mounting bracket, and it's also got the control cutout on the top, so you can still fully operate this as you would without it. It just slips inside like so, and you're ready to use this. It actually does an excellent job at diffusing the light as well, and I have actually been using this with it on more than I do with it off. The manual operation is easy and again user friendly with everything clearly displayed on screen. Tells you what preset you're on down the left hand side, a battery indicator in the top right corner which also displays the time that's remaining. It's a 4000 milliamp hour battery which is pretty good for a little light. And then it shows you what scene you're on and below that it has the intensity and then at the bottom frequency. These can all be played with and you can fine tune this as you like. I have to say I found this to be very impressive. As I mentioned earlier all the edges are very precisely machined. The carbon glass effect looks absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. The screen is clear and easy to operate and it's just overall very very good. We're going to go and take a look at the app now. There's a few permissions and stuff that you'll need to accept to get access to this. Let's go to the app and I'll show you how to get it all set up. So if you open up the camera on your smart device, you can scan the QR code that is inside the instruction leaflet. Or you can just search for small go go on the Google or Apple Play stores. Once you get to the small go go, you want to click install and then open. So now you need to create an account. It's just adding your email. Then you want to request a code by clicking the request icon just next to where your password should be. It will send a four digit code to your email address and then you want to enter it in your password slot. You'll then have full access to the app. You want to go ahead and add device and then you should see a progress bar. Make sure your small rig is switched on, otherwise the Bluetooth won't find it. Once you're connected, you can go ahead and select the RM icon, which will take you to the actual app controls. Again though, there's a slider in the top right corner. This needs to be slid to the right, otherwise it will not give you access to the controls. This is to prevent accidental scene changes. So on the first page, we've got the CCT mode. This is your typical warm and cool light setting. You've got the brightness slider on the bottom. You can turn that all the way to zero or up to 100. I like to leave it somewhere in the middle. And then on the top, you've got the Kelvin slider. This goes from 2,500 Kelvin all the way up to 8,500. It's not perfect and 100% accurate, but it is 100% functional. You can also save any of the presets by clicking the save icon at the bottom of the page. 
So the second page is the HSI mode. This is your RGB, the color palette. You can select which color you want. And you've also got the sliders to again fine tune and save the preset. Next up we have the FX tab. This has 18 preset modes. I won't go through them all, we'd be here all night. But they basically have paparazzi, candlelight, fireworks, fault bulbs, TVs and things like that. Again, you can fine tune these at the bottom by sliding the frequency slider and the brightness slider. And again, you can save the presets. There's also things like police cars, fire trucks and ambulances here. I'm not sure how accurate these are, certainly not for the UK, but they do do a good job of replicating the effect and immediately add emphasis to your storytelling and improve your scene quality. The next tab has some colour cards. This is for vloggers and things like this. When you want to get your tone perfect for the camera, then you can use these settings and again, fine tune everything. This next one, Colour Picker, is really cool. It lets you select from a standard background random colours, or you can go into your photographs and pick a photograph to be precise. You can actually select a part of your photograph and the light will sense what colour that is and try to display that. It isn't 100% accurate, but it's kind of fun and I did enjoy this little bit of the app. You can even give it access to your camera and then record something like your keyboard or an RGB strip light or something like that and you can get the light to replicate it so you could also have it mimic your recorded object. Pretty cool in my opinion. Overall I've got to say the build quality is absolutely amazing. It's all user friendly from using the manual controls to using the application and we have given it four stars out of five. I think it's pretty good for the price. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful at all, drop me a thumbs up. And Jackson's asked that you subscribe to the channel. Jackson is my dog. He's a picture which should hopefully make your day. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. And until next time, I'm Really Random Reviews. And I'll see you in the next video.